I love your passion for this business, but I think you've been hitting the stuff a little bit too hard, okay? Because tonight, you got to share the ring with the investment in price tier goal. you got a chance to prove yourself against the staple of round zero. The investment is about to put the smoke out. Another week and more Ground Zero. Let's party. The Hope Dealer Sear and Rain. That's big budget. Big, big budget. Or as I'm calling this, David versus Goliath. We, uh, you know what? I, I pointed this out on one of the other uh, tapings we had. We do have uh, a, a good amount of these, which is great. I was going to say, we got a wide variance of body shapes. We do, we do. Uh, Very all body shapes and positive sizes. here. You know what? Smart move by Siren. He got he got tossed off before. Oh, he did a Alita! Shout out to Mitch Ryder. I was gonna say this is the type of stuff he needs. Gotta link it up. That's yeah. And uh, you know what? Everybody, uh, we just talked about how there's been a number of David and Go David versus Goliath matches around here. Uh, it looks like Siren's learned from some of the other ones. Oh, a face full of spin wheel I feel kick. like, man, a lot of them end up just like that. Unfortunately, stick and move only goes so well until I finally run into a big old size 12, which, hey, look at that. Shoes in the budget, I guess, this time. Shoes in the budget. But uh, Seer and Rain seem to have it uh, a little bit more figured out than the rest. I, I, love, I love that, uh, you know, taping to taping, we see these guys learn a little bit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, uh, uh, they're watching. They're they're seeing what other what these guys are doing. They're uh, they're trying. Oh my goodness! He tried to chop that tattoo off his chest, and I'm all for it. Budget is legit. Yeah, no joke, man. Oh. Holy crap! It was like he was taking out trash. I'm not joking. I've seen a lot of stuff on these tapings. That. That uh, tank top whip to the face, maybe the most vicious thing I've seen on any of these tapings. Even more that kick to your high piece that you that looks like it's got a mouse coming out of it. Way worse than the kick. I'd rather I'd rather take that kick to the eye seven more times than get t-shirt whipped in the in the face ever. Okay. All right. I'm not gonna argue. Oh, I'm not Man. gonna argue with a little bit of hair grab either. I mean, you know. Well, he's got that little tail hanging out. Nah, he's kind of asking, asking for it, it you know. Like in the NFL, the, the hair that comes out from underneath the helmet, it's part of the jersey. Exactly. You're asking to get it pulled. Seer and Rain, usually more known as a... Uh, a talker. A talker and a, 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 a tag team wrestler, a, a group guy. Well, he's, he's facing a man the size of two men, so it's kind of a tag match. Woo! <laughs> oh, I can feel his soul leaving his body. Yeah, I can feel his... Uh, and, you know... Uh, Seer and Rain's still, you know, a, a relatively newer guy, even though we see him a lot. Unfortunately, that's what's going to have to be, buddy. It's going to have to be five of your strikes to one of his. Ow! No! No! That was the double hand over the top. No! Chest caver in her. Good golly! Two hands. Oh, my gosh. He's still but yes, in there. But so here, here's what I was gonna say though. Seer and Rain, while while we see him a lot, uh, he's still a relative newcomer. So you know, uh, with experience comes a little better uh, understanding your wind. Uh, but a guy like him probably still doesn't exactly. And and trying to take that wind from him is a good strategy by by budget. Now, oh wait, we got a pin. Big old power slam. That could be. Oh, oh! I promise you. I saw the look in Budget's eyes. He thought he had that. He I thought that was it. Well. I saw it as well. He looked confident. Budget usually a tag team wrestler too, but uh, I mean, I've seen him in singles competition. He knows. He knows how to do it both ways. He's a very versatile wrestler. And now let's draw some parallels there. Both men kind of inexperienced. Both men predominantly tag wrestlers. Absolutely. But one thing you can't teach is that size. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Sarah yeah. and Rain. You cannot compete against a man who's literally double your size. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, man. 
A wise man once said, you can't teach that. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if that man was wise at all. Oh, he definitely was a wise man. Siren, uh, he, he is trying to pick his spots, though. Uh, I will give him that. Uh, did he just try a... Another Alita! Oh, into the pin! Into the pin! One, two, oh! Back to his feet! Oh, right Rolls to the Rolls around side. and kicks him! That's a big man to turn over, though! Oh, it's a lot to turn over. Oh. Wow! Man! He was digging in for that one. It feels like Siren's been planning that all match. He's gotta, he's gotta have something else in the playbook, though, you know? Like, it felt like that was plan A. It's time to go to plan B, plan budget, plan body bags, plan double B. I smell smoke. Those gears are turning. Yeah. Nice little lifter rolls out, coming back. Trying to create some momentum. Yeah, and but you don't want to. Yeah, you don't want to give that much space to a guy like Budget. Yeah, you give him an inch, he's gonna take your head yeah, off. Absolutely, absolutely. Because it's tough for a guy searing size to do enough damage to a guy like Budget that he can out. create that space. He's sitting on the top rope, and now they're looking eye to eye. Oh no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. No, 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 Apparently, no. they don't like our ring. <laughs> I, oh, wait, here we budget, go. Budget may go through this bird. But Siren's got him. Oh! Down and down hard. Siren rain. Oh, top rope. What do we got? Oh, yeah, he put it all in. One, two. He got him. Like I said, he put every inch of his, every pound Sometimes when you're... It. Sometimes when you're wrestling a guy that size, if you can just get him on his shoulders, if you can just get him on his back, you got him. And our winner today, Siren Rain. Wow. Wow. Big victory. Big victory. Huge. And we're back. Yeah, and we just heard some words from Bryce Piergold, the investment. He thinks that uh, he thinks that our guy Mellow Tong's been uh, smoking the stuff a little hard. I feel like he's heard that one before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like that's nothing new to Mr. Pure Gold. Ooh, and it's only gonna make him mad. Oh, two feet right to the Man, face. Man, Tong might have had this thing scouted though. I thought he was just playing around, but I don't think he's here to play. I think he's here to. I think he's here to go. Yeah, I'm surprised. Bryce getting a little heated with the gallery out here. Whereas Mellow Tom, I like his namesake, just playing it cool. Letting yeah. it be, letting it come to him. Oh, Woo! Price Purgle taking a back body drop. Who'd have thunk it? Like, like Price said, though, right before this match, uh, you know, Mellow Tong is very impressive in training. He really is. Uh, he, he works hard. And... Uh, I, I, it would not shock me for an upset, but the investment price per gold, uh, I mean, he's the standard, right? I don't know if anybody is hotter in this promotion than him. Oh, and now look at that. Once again, I think he suckered him in. I think he's playing chess. There are drills they do at this school that I, uh, I question how hard they go on them. Because they go too hard, because price pure gold goes too hard sometimes. Top rope clothesline. I haven't seen one of those since Lion Brian Pillar. Nice takeover by Price Pure Gold. Nice, nice maneuver getting himself back in control. I was gonna say, he's definitely got Tom reeling now. Scoops him up. Oh, he says, You make fun of my hair, I'm gonna break your back. Beautiful backbreaker. Price Pure Gold, very a, a traditional, by the books, professional wrestler, right? Yes, very methodical. Very, everything he does is clean, it's nice, very traditional. You know, like, how often do you oh, see wait. just a nice backbreaker Slip nowadays? First finish. Tong has it scouted. Oh, I've seen this from Tong, though. Oh, missed that sidekick. Uh-oh. Oh. Buzz Sawyer would be proud of that power slam and a two and a kick out from Tong. 
That's the thing about the guys who come from this school. They train with each other all the time, so they know each other's stuff. Mellow Tong, that axe kick is nasty, and Price knows it. And unfortunately, I'm sure Tong was well aware of the power slam being one of, you know, Price's go-to maneuvers, but he was just reeling after missing that axe kick, and now yeah. look at him, now look at him. Yeah, so, you know. Uh -oh. Sometimes you take that strike and you miss, and that's what leaves you open to the next, you know, in, in any in any in any fight sport, and that's what I feel like we had Tom there. Oh, oh see, I think he got a little too busy making friends at ringside, got a face full of foot. Oh, here we go, sunset. A little oh, Booker, uh, what? Two. Jerry yeah. Lynn sunset, Booker two. T sunset. What do you like? Oh. Sling blade. Sling blade is what I like. Leg lariat. Nice leg lariat, too. I, I don't think I've seen that one on a tour. Wow! Tong is on fire! I think he's smoking Price Pure Goal right now. Yeah! Smoked him with that kick. Starting to feel himself. Probably has to gather his breath. We know yeah. his lungs may not be the best. Duck a little mirror. Got him with the kick. Oh, he slips behind that. Oh, is he going for it again? Oh. Once again, well scouted by Tong. Not only well scouted. Oh! Not only well scouted, but those are nice place elbows. Those aren't just uh, little flippers. Those were some elbows by Tong. I'm digging this sleeper though. Oh, but not that jawbreaker. Oh no. Tong. Ah man. Oh, gets behind. Oh, he's back, at it. back to the back sleeper. At it. Back to the sleeper. Trying to beat, this seems like a Price Pure Gold maneuver, but it's executed here by Mellow Tong. This seems like a, a, a Price Pure Gold. He's got him down to a knee. He's got him trying down to, to a knee. Trying to beat him with his own maneuver a little bit, you know? Oh! I don't know if you want to play Price's game with Price, though, you know? Uh-oh, is this it? Got him! Oh, oh my god! My. Count to a million. That Holy. may be the best one I've seen him hit. Good God. Mellow Tom, sorry, today was not your day. Price Somebody gold, another win. Scrape him off the mat. Good gravy. Your winner, Price Pure Gold. Woo! Our explodes. This is the one I've been looking forward to. Yes, yes. Because it's a weird thing when you have tag partners facing each other. It's a weird thing where like they know each other, so they've got to go yeah, deep yeah, into their yeah. bag to try and pull something out. Absolutely. We saw a tag team wrestler against a, a, a tag team wrestler earlier, but they weren't on the same team. These guys are a regular team, and they are really, really good as a team. Yeah, let's Ooh. see what they're going to have to pull out of their bag of tricks to try and outdo the other one, because who knows them better than their own tag partner? Absolutely, and, and like, they aren't just tag partners uh, for the sake of tag partners. They train together, they came up together, they are, they are uh, simpatico, you know? Yeah. They are, uh, they know all the other one's tricks. Yeah, they're a well-oiled machine. Absolutely. So I am very interested, and we are getting a good glimpse of uh, what they got right here. Great feeling out process. Great catches catch can wrestling to open this thing. Oh, back to the headlock. Nice, Jay. So Cheech, nice. so Cheech, we've wrestled uh, these two gentlemen a number of times. Yes. We've also wrestled each other a number of times. Sure, but... In wrestling, these two, if you had to pick, pin, kick out, separate. But if you had to pick, uh -huh. which one you think is the superior wrestler? Yeah. Where are you going? The bald one. You going? Okay. Okay. Come on. Uh, and, uh, and see, I knew you were going to say that. Of course, you knew I was. You yeah, know I, I go, go for my people. I go TJ. Oh, oh, you, you, you. With your healthy hairlines? Yeah. Yeah. I, on the other hand. Oh, wait. It, will we get a clean break? Oh, well. Not a clean break, but at least they're both on the same page. <laughs> 
We got a, we got ourselves a good old fashioned Mexican standoff, boys. I'm surprised by the balance on one leg by both. Yeah, if uh, if me and Cheech tried to do this, we would not. No, we would both fall. I don't know. TJ's looking a little. Aha! Okay, drop down, leapfrog, swing and a miss, weave through, chail up and over, roll up, back, nips up, goes to the kick, swats it away, corner. Told you it was TJ. Corner two. Oh, we're going around the world here. Corner three, we got one corner to go. I didn't think so. Oh, Chael. Oh, no. Chael's going around the world now. Oh, all right. Three. Is he going to get four? Ah! Oh, we got him. Oh, we got him. Here we go. Under certain rules, he would have just won the match. Yeah, right, right, right. These two are wearing dog collars. This is a different story. If only they were wearing dog collars. I like your idea, Kyle. You don't hit anyone harder than you hit your friends. I was going to say, I feel like there was a lot of, like, uh, that, that, that had a lot of car arguments behind it. Yeah, 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 yeah. That had a lot of post-match disgruntledness behind it. That felt like one person took the aux cable too many times. Yeah, exactly. Oh! Both of them getting a little too hubris on the tenth punch of their ten punches. Takes the leg out of TJ Epics, which is a smart idea. Oh yeah, no, he's definitely. If you could see that, that knee is definitely yeah. braced up for a reason. Yeah, you take and and, and take the wheel out of the high flying. But I've TJ spoken Epics. to him lately. But hold on, hold on. Apparently, he's been feeling better. Do you see that chop by Chael? He didn't want to do it. Took a little stank off it, I think. Ah, uh, you know. Oh. You gotta Never be mind. careful with those. <laughs> <Yeah>. Never mind. <laughs> oh! Turns him inside out with a back suplex. End of the day, these guys are friends, but but they they knew the assignment when they showed up here, and they were they were ready, willing, and able. I was gonna say they're See? showing they were. See you know, though, hold on. I feel like Chael's yeah. holding back. He might be that one of the team. He might be the one that shows a little more restraint. Okay, victory roll. One, two. Swing and a weave. Woo! And a sling blade. Sling blader, got him. Get us a little closer to, oh, all right. All right, I'd say at this point, though, I feel a little bit of a stalemate. I feel like it's very yes. tit for tat. Absolutely, man, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you were speaking the virtues of TJ and his, you know, head of hair, whereas, you know, now my bald friend over here is taking over. Absolutely. I mean, this team does remind, I mean, honestly, they do remind me a lot of us. You know? Follicularly, yes. Yeah, yeah, but even even in other ways, man, uh, uh, Chael's, Chael's more the, the in-shape technician, really uh, focuses in. TJ's a little more uh, take risks. Uh, you know, uh, throw caution to the wind, uh, go a little crazy, go a little... Yeah, maybe he is a chip off the old block. I, too, worked out so hard I lost all my hair. Maybe he falls under the same tree. <laughs> oh. Big old forearm. But once again, I think you may be right. I feel like it just doesn't contain the malice that, you know, TJ's do. Wow. Up and behind. Oh, Holy he's gonna eat smokes. that buckle. What a combination by Chael. That buckle's been deadly today, but it seems to have been survived, at least for now, by TJ Epics. Telling TJ to stay down. See, like you said, he was the first one to concede that, you know, he, he Just, doesn't want to do this. He doesn't. He doesn't. You saw on those chops that he threw earlier, there was a little a little something taken off him. He didn't, he didn't not chop him, but he didn't put it all in there. He didn't. You saw it. Now, we just got to see if TJ's going to return in kind or if, you know... He's the evil one. Yeah. Goes to that back suplex oh. again. No, he's out. Oh! Catches the apron but recovers. Oh. Flying head scissors and he's in the buckle. Oh. Wow! Oh. 619 into the second and TJ's going up. Watch out, Chael. Big, Big crossbody. One, two, he's got him. No! Kick out. 
He had him folded up on his shoulders. I thought that was three. Both men exhausted. I was going to say, jail is real. TJ has been down for a minute, though. He needs to get, he needs to get back in this thing. Yeah. Toss him up. Yeah. Alabama slam, maybe, from yeah. Chael? No. Oh, he's holding TJ's tight. TJ's holding on. Yeah. Ooh, let's go. Oh, Flips him through. Face buster. This could be it. One, two. Only oh, two. two. Man. I was going to say, up until that Chael was up, Chael was trying to get him over, and then... I could know. see the look in Chael's eyes there. He barely kicked out of that thing, and he's, he is, <laughs> he doesn't know how much he's got left. TJ, I feel like TJ's caught that second wind. He's looking for that cutter, I believe. Oh, oh my god. My. Nobody home. No water in the pool. <laughs> I was just going to say, no water in the pool, man. Oh, and a that's straight you, cutter. That's how it's a done. A straight cutter. TJ feeding up. He G's it up and he got it. Oh, Good night, Irene. Count to fish? a billion. One, two, three. Oh, whoa, whoa, no, whoa, no, whoa. No, whoa. No. Hold on. Not one, but two cutters. Don't get it done. Yeah, Chael, you got to look Ch at yourself. Chael's got to look deep inside now. These guys know each other so well. Uh, I think, I you think know. we're going to have to dig into what I call the murder, death, kill moves. But the, the, the other bag of tricks. You know, the, the, the other bag of tricks. Exactly. Yeah. Hell yeah. The bag of bad ideas, if you will. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Bad idea yeah. notebook coming coming out. Oh, gets behind. Oh, big elbow. Big <laughs> super kick. Oh, super my. kick. He's going again. Oh, he's caught. Catch, though. Weave. Go behind. Weave. Switch, push. Uh oh. <laughs> Turned him inside out with that. Caught it. Turned him inside out. This is TJ's time. With that odd rebound lariat. I think Chael really thought that he had this thing won. And now he's reeling. He just got set ass over tea kettle. Ooh, that was two boots to the face. One more Going for the victory roll. Holds him down. One, two. Three! Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no! Turnabout is fair play! Chilling for the same victory roll that TJ did earlier! But Chael. TJ had it scouted! I was gonna say, it might have been once again, you know, the apprehension on Chael's part. Unbelievable! What a match! Uh, your winner, TJ Epics! Brothers got a hug. Brothers got a hug.